32 Beer Section 1 Which shall be burning upon the altar all night Rabbi Lazer talks about the night time when judgments are awakened in the world and sorcery is performed He tells what happens when midnight approaches and the joy that God finds among the righteous in the garden of Eden in the morning the judgments and flames are stilled and Abraham brings rest to all one and Hashem spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai saying speak to the children of Israel and say to them when you come to the land, Vayikra 251 to 2, Rabbi Lazar commenced the discussion with the verse This is the Torah of the burnt offering Hebelah. It is the burnt offering. Vayikra 62, we establish this verse. Address the congregation of Israel which rises Hebelah and joins with the Holy King in a perfect union too. It is the burnt offering which shall be burning upon the altar all night of it come. And behold, when night comes and the gates are shut, judgments below are awakened in the world. And mules and dogs go and roam about. We establish that on the first watch of the night a mule brays at this time. Dogs and asses do not roam about. Sorcery is performed with the mules by people such as Bilam who rode on his mule. Then all of mankind is asleep and the lower outer altar being Malchud when filled with judgment burns three at midnight. The north wind is stirred and from that lower altar from Malchud comes a flame of fire. The gates open and the lower judgments meaning the judgments. Of the female assemble in their holes that flame goes and spreads and the gates of the garden of Eden open until that flame reaches and then divides to several directions of the world it then enters beneath the wings of the cock and it crows for then the Holy One blessed be he is found among the righteous and the congregation of Israel offers praise to the Holy One blessed be he until the onset of morning with the arrival of morning they are found chatting about one secret one with the other the secret of the third watch when the wife converses with her husband she has rest with her husband this is what is written which shall be burning upon the altar all night until the morning all night she burns in her judgments until morning that is in the morning the judgments and flames are still then Abraham is stirred being cheesed with the world and he brings rest to all section two then shall the land keep a Shabbat to Hashem we are told that when Israel entered the land there were no lower judgments and everything was peaceful Rabbi Lazer talks about the sabbatical year that is total rest for the spirit and body 5 come and behold when Israel entered the land there were no lower judgments judgments of the female found in it and the congregation of Israel being Malchud was resting upon the wings of the cherubs as they said righteousness lodged in it Yeshua 121 then she had respite from all for Israel did not sleep until they offered the twilight sacrifice and the judgments were dismissed the burnt offering was consumed upon the altar then she had respite from all and there was only a wife with her husband this is the essence of when you come to the land and shall the land keep a Shabbat Vayikra 252 then the land will rest true rest without judgments then shall the land keep a Shabbat to Hashem meaning a Shabbat to Hashem literally without any judgments 6 again Rabbi Lazer commenced if you buy Hebrew Servant six years he shall serve Shema 212 as every son of Israel who is circumcised possesses a holy mark has rest on the sabbatical year the sabbatical year is his denoting Malchud it is his to rest in it it is referred to as the Shabbat of the land and surely contains freedom from the Klippot in it there is rest from judgments just as Shabbat is rest for also the sabbatical year is total rest rest for the spirit and body therefore it is written six years he shall serve and in the seventh he shall go out free seven come and behold he refers to rest of those on high and those lower thus there is the upper hay of Yud Hay Bob denoting Bana and the lower hay of Yud Hay Bob reflecting Malchud the upper hay points to rest for the supernal beings while the lower hay refers to rest for those below the upper hay is the secret of seven years seven times meaning forty nine gates of Bana the lower hay is the secret of merely the seven years the lower is called the sabbatical year and the upper is called Jubilee 8 when one looks at these things they all the same because the Mokin of Jubilee which is by illuminates within the sabbatical year which is Malchut therefore it is written and shall the land keep a Shabbat Vayikra 251 for when the land is at rest the servants should be at rest this is why in the seventh he shall go out free what is free it means that he pays his master nothing section 3 the yoke of the kingdom of heaven Rabbi Lazer tells us that man must accept the yoke of the kingdom of heaven before he can do any work this yoke cannot rest on anyone who is attached to another so slaves are exempt from the commandments and from the yoke as were Israel while they were in exile 9 in truth this is the secret we learned that it is written we remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt for nothing Demid bar 115 meaning for nothing without a blessing as we did not have a heavenly yoke in Egypt Come and behold slaves are exempt from the yoke of the kingdom of heaven and so they are exempt from the commandments what is this the yoke of the heavenly kingdom it is like an ox upon which they first place a yoke in order to work with him and draw benefit from him for the world if he does not accept that yoke he does no work at all so man must accept upon himself the yoke of the heavenly kingdom first and then he will toil with it all that he needs however if he does not accept this yoke upon himself first he cannot work ten it is written serve Hashem with fear Tehillim 211 what is meant by fear it is as it is written the fear of Hashem is the beginning of wisdom Tehillim 11110 this refers to the kingdom of heaven as Malchut is called fear and for this reason it becomes the yoke of the heavenly kingdom and so this is where it all starts since Malchut is the first sphere going from below upward what proves this that we don the hand tefillin first being the secret of Malchut and afterwards the head tefillin which is the secret of Zeir and this is because through Malchut one enters the rest of holiness if this is not found with him the celestial holiness cannot rest upon him for this it writes thus lit with this did Aaron come into the holy place Vayikra 163 11 and this yoke cannot rest upon one who is attached to another and so slaves are exempt from the yoke of the heavenly kingdom because they are tied to their masters if they are exempt from this yoke they are exempt from all other commandments since other commandments are not placed upon one until this yoke is with him therefore Israel in Egypt ate without cost here too he shall go out free Shema 212 since he was a slave and whatever he did was without cost without the yoke of the heavenly kingdom so even though his deeds were for nothing he shall go out and find rest the explanation of the verses as if it said for free yet he shall go out section for and his master shall bore his ear through Rabbi Lazer describes what happens when someone rejects his freedom preferring to stay attached to his master the blemish of having his ear bored through remains with him because he refused to listen Rabbi Lazer says that anyone who shows mercy for the poor contributes peace to the congregation of Israel and multiplies blessings in the world 12 after gaining freedom and finding himself at rest a yoke is placed upon him from that place that brought him freedom meaning from the secret of the seventh year Malchut if someone rejected freedom as the verse reads and if the servant shall say I love my master Shema 215 he certainly has thwarted that place namely Malchut since he has rejected the yoke of the heavenly kingdom and accepted the yoke of his master what does it say of this then his master shall bring him to the judges let the Elohim he shall also bring him to the door of it six then his master shall bring him to the Elohim Elohim I said generally meaning he brought him to that place that he damaged Malchut also referred to as Elohim 13 to what place does he bring him near to the door or the doorpost at Mezuzah but since that place namely Malchut is the entrance to above meaning the entrance through which to merit Zeir and it is called Mezuzah and so we learned since he intended to blemish that place Malchut there remained this deficiency in his body this is what is written and his master shall bore his ear through with an all and he shall serve him forever but since the servant will be beneath the feet of his master until Jubilee year 14 he asks why bore through his ear answer we already have established this hearing is dependent upon this place namely Malchut acting above upon Bano when the congregation of Israel was approaching Mount Sinai with the love in their hearts to approach the Holy One blessed be he they placed doing before hearing normally listening Precedes doing listening depends on the sabbatical year denoting Malchut and so since the servant damaged this listening his listening was blemished this blemish remains with him and he does not remain a servant to his master unless he approaches that place that he blemished and he is blemished before it and this rebuff remains with him for this reason then his master shall bring him to the Elohim this is unspecified pointing to Malchut as we established hence shall the land keep a Shabbat to Hashem Vayikra 252 so that it will not be rendered defective through slavery here it is different from most instances where we say that listening denotes by and doing Malchut 15 
and another one are I may aim the faithful shepherd 16 but in the seventh year shall be a Shabbat of solemn rest vi cross 254 this precept is to rest during the seventh year the following one is to rest during the seventh day and the following is to cancel money debts on the seventh and then to count seven times seven years and the space of the seven Shabbat of years shall be to you 49 years if it eight years is the secret of the group of sevens as they emanate from the Sheshanah denoting. Malchut called seven from the standpoint of the righteous denoting his which is seven from Bina and she Malchut is the daughter of seven from the side of Supernal Iamay denoting Bina that illuminates it since Bina is the seventh going from below upward of which it is written seven times a day I praise you Tehillim 119,164 17 there are seven names Allah Pet Gimel Yatav Zedek Kuf Rish Ayin Sin Tetnun Nun Gimel Galad Yutca Fshin Pet Tet Rish Zedek Tav Gimel Chet Kuf Pet Tetnun Ayin Yut Gimel Lamet Pe Zayin Kuf Fshin Kuf Bob Zedek Yut Tav they contain 42 letters and the sum of both letters and words is 49 that is 42 letters and seven words Supernal Iamay Bina represents the 50th year in which you shall proclaim liberty via cross 2510 for within her by receiving her book in the lower Shechan Amalchut called land shall be liberty redemption and rest for Israel of whom it is written and your seed shall be as the dust of the earth Bereshit 2800 and 14 the earth being. Malchut 18 every sphere meaning each name from these seven names possesses six wings corresponding to Chesed Bureau Tiferet Net Sach Hot and Yezid since there are six letters in every name, Allah Petimul Yud Tav Zedek possesses six letters and as well Kuf Rishayin Sin Tetnun and so it is with all of them and with them the Holy One blessed be he with each sphere from these seven illuminates the angels about whom it is written with two he covered his face and with two he covered his feet and with two did he fly Yeshaya 62 Bina represents one the lower Shechan is seven above Bina the high priest counts one and one he would count the tenth Firat by means of sprinkling one corresponds to Keter one and one equals Chakma and Bina one and two are Chesed and Bureau one and three corresponds to Tiferet one and four corresponds to Net Sach one and five corresponds to Hod one and six corresponds to Yezid one and seven corresponds to Malchut 19 from here it grows as we Promote to a higher grade of sanctity by adding one each time from the perspective of the stranger, meaning the other side. The waters decrease continually. Bereshit 85. When was this? It took place where the lower Sheshanah being Malchut dwells with the seven diverse states, and the ark rested in the seventh month of it. Four corresponding to the lower Sheshanah from then the water began to decrease on the seventeenth day of the month of it, denoting Malchut referred to as seventh and referred to as tenth. When one begins to count from Keter downward, Malchut is located tenth from Chesed and down she is seventh. Twenty. When the name Hiyah denoting by the Jubilee year rises and illuminates upon them, upon the forty-nine years it by is called Hiyah Asher Hiyah. This means twice Hiyah since each one numerically reaches twenty-one in the count of forty-two with eight letters of the two names Allah Hiyah Yudhiyah. There is now fifty in them is anchored the precept to count the Jubilee year and the precept to. Return to one's inheritance on the Jubilee as it is written in the year of the Jubilee you shall return Vayikra 2513 this means that each will return to the level whence his soul was attached as we established in and the spirit returns to the Elohim Kahilat 127 meaning Bina called Yudhi Hei Bab Hei with the vowels of Elohim 21 the sabbatical year represents the lower Shechina which consists of seven years Jubilee as I am a supernal Bina representing the 15th year Yisrael was connected with it when departing Egypt as it is written and you shall return every man to his family Vayikra 2510 this means that just as at the exodus from Egypt there were masters of Torah among them as it is said of them and the children of Israel went up armed Hekamashim Shemot 1318 and we established that it meant one out of fifty Hekamashim denoting Bina so here and you shall return every man to his family denotes Bina and this means to his family as in the exodus from Egypt in which they were redeemed by the 50th gate by the 22 the lower Shechanah corresponds to the redemption of the houses of walled cities and in relation to it the houses of the villages without walls are mentioned there are two houses in the heart corresponding to Malchut if they are those of the sages of Torah they are called houses of walled cities as it is written when departing Egypt and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left Shemot 1422. Others who are not Torah masters are called the houses of the villages which have no wall Vayikra 2531 for the inner part of Malchut is called houses of walled cities and the outer Malchut is called the houses of the villages which have no wall 23 Rabbi Shimon said of these cities also courts it is written and stood in the inner court of the king's house over against the king's house Esther 51 everywhere when it is written in the scroll the king without a name it refers to the Holy One blessed be he and stood standing means in prayer over against the king's house meaning facing the temple as all Israel are obligated to pray there facing the temple and here what is the meaning of the inner court assuredly there are two courts of the house of Hashem and outer and inner yet you say that the houses of the courtyard were outer 24 the Holy Luminary said to him the two courtyards refer to the outer part of the heart meaning the outer part of Malchut representing two handles of the heart the two inner chambers represent two chambers of the heart denoting the inner part of Malchut the inner are two and the outer are two at the time of the redemption the redemption will be for all of them those close to the heart which is the Sheshanah and those from afar who came near since this is the essence of the verse peace peace both for far and near Yeshua 5719 and we explained it as far from the midst of sin to the near from the midst of Performing a precept section 6 blowing the shofar on the jubilee Rabbi Shimon says that at the time of redemption it will be a precept to blow the shofar on the jubilee then all of Israel will assemble from the four points of the earth he tells how the priests the Levites and the children of Israel all fulfilled their appointed functions he describes the first 51 precepts in detail 25 at that time of redemption it will be a precept to blow the shofar on it. Jubilee as it is written see when he lifts up a banner on the mountains and when he blows a shofar here Yeshua 183 for as with the blowing of the shofar of jubilee all slaves go free so is the final redemption through the blowing of the shofar all of Israel will assemble from the four points of the earth since they are slaves until the jubilee the secret of the light redemption among masters of Torah there are also slaves on the condition of receiving payment and they are called slaves of the king and queen but of the children of the holy king it is written I bore you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself Shemot 194 meaning on the wings of the living creatures of the chariot 26 the precept after this is to give the levit cities of dwelling since they did not participate in the sin of the golden calf the holy one blessed be he set them apart for himself to play numerous types of melodies for him thus the priests fulfilled their function as did the levits with song and music and the children of Israel in their dwellings the priests had numerous commandments 27 the first precept is to make the anointing oil the second is for the levits to guard in the temple the third is for Israel to revere the temple the fourth concerns the service of the levits in the temple the fifth is to burn incense twice daily the sixth is for the priests to blow the trumpets in the temple the seventh is to sanctify the seat of Aaron in the temple the eighth is to wear Priestly garments in the temple, the ninth is the washing of hands and feet for worship in the temple, twenty-eighth, the tenth is for the priests to offer sacrifices in the temple, the eleventh is to redeem those rejected for offering, the twelfth is the offering of the woman who has given birth on the eighth day, the thirteenth is to strew salt over the sacrifices in the temple, the fourteenth is to prepare the burnt offering according to its prescribed manner, the fifteenth is to prepare the sin offering. According to its prescribed manner, the sixteenth is the eating of the holy things according to the custom of the priests, the seventeenth is the eating of the leftovers of the meal offerings, the eighteenth is to prepare the meal offering according to the prescribed manner, the nineteenth is to bring offerings to the temple, the twentieth is to bring a vow or a free will offering, the twenty-first is to bring offerings holy things in exchange for the newly born, the twenty-second is to sacrifice to Daily offerings according to the prescribed manner the 23rd is to burn constant fire on the altar 29 the 24th is to take of the ashes the 25th is to light the candles of the candelabra the 26th is to offer a meal offering daily the 27th is to offer an
Offering the 44th concerns guilt offering when there is doubt whether a sin was committed. The 45th concerns an offering for a guilt offering when guilt is undoubted. The 46th is an offering of higher and lesser value. The 47th is the offering of the members of the Sanhedrin when they made an error. The 48th is for he who had an issue to offer after he is cleansed of the issue. The 49th is the offering of a woman who had an issue after she is cleansed of it. The 50th concerns the offering of a woman who gave birth. The 51st concerns the offering of the lepers from their proceed. The other precepts section 7 the joining of the Holy One blessed be he and the Shechinah. Rabbi Shimon speaks to the deans of the Yeshiva telling them how the Shechinah is a sacrifice for God since she comes near him with each of his fire and with the total connection of male and female. He says that a man without a wife is like a Half body and the Shechinah will not rest on him, and that God is not called one unless united with the Shechinah. From the aspect of Atzilah, there is no separation between God and the Shechinah. Is the Shechinah is his unity, his blessing, and his holiness. But when she is outside of Atzilah, then she is not one with him. Rabbi Shimon says, a long praise to the cause of causes, the endless light. He talks about the commandment of fearing the temple that concerns the service of the levites in the temple, and the commandment of the daily incense to God. He tells us that not all the sages of Torah are equal, nor are all the prophets equal, as some of their prophecies are superior to those of other prophets. Some prophets prophesy from sight, some from hearing, some from the mouth, some from the breath of the nose, and some from the hand. There are also different grades of meaning in the Torah, different levels of sacrifices. Rabbi Shimon says that people must send their offerings to God via the Shechinah. And she distributes to everyone one should never sacrifice to the other side because all the other Elohim are of the world of separation. Rabbi Shimon goes on to say that every kind of incest is equal to worshipping idols of the other side and God separates those who sacrifice to the other side from his name. He gave Yisrael the Torah from his name so they should make themselves partners with him. 31 The deans of the Yeshiva under oath you must not go away from me until I prepare a sacrifice to the Holy One. Blessed be he the Sheshanah is the sacrifice derived from bringing near for the Holy One. Blessed be he since she comes near to him with each limb of the king meaning with each of his fire with the total connection of male and female with all the limbs which there are some are from the head meaning eyes to eyes denoting chakma ears to ears denoting by the nose to nose being tie for face to face being cheese and viewer mouth to mouth being mouth this is like and put his mouth. Upon his mouth and his eyes, upon his eyes, two Melashim 434. With this, he resurrected the child, and so the hands of the king with the hands of the queen, being Shisha and Vira of the six ends, body to body, meaning Tiferet of the six ends, and with all his limbs, the sacrifice is complete. 32 A man without a wife is a half body, and the Sheshanah does not rest upon him, so is the Holy One. Blessed be he when not in proximity with the Sheshanah, and with all Israel, since they are virtuous men, since they are his limbs, and the cause of all causes, denoting Keter, does not rest there, and it is as if the Holy One, blessed be he is not one, as he is not with the Sheshanah. The Holy One, blessed be he is not called one, if not united with the Sheshanah outside of the land of Israel, where the Sheshanah is removed from her husband. They said, He who dwells outside the land of Israel is like one who has no Elohim, since there are no sacrifices outside the land of Israel, being the secret of the union. Of the Holy One, blessed be he with the Sheshanah is mentioned, and when the Holy One, blessed be he joins with the Sheshanah, this verse is fulfilled on that day. Hashem shall be one, and his name one. Zechariah 149, then the cause of all causes, Keter dwells upon them. 33, even though the fathers instituted prayers in place of sacrifices, this was to bring the Feshat, Rushat, and Neshamot, which are mental near to the Holy One, blessed be he and his Sheshanah, like limbs to a body as mentioned above. But from the standpoint of the throne, depicting Briah and the angels being its that are bodies and limbs outside of the king and queen, there is no sacrifice for this reason. It is said regarding the throne, because Yah has sworn by his throne, had cast Shemot 1716, meaning cast spelled without the Aleph, but in regards to the temple throne, I has spelled with the Aleph, as it says, a glorious throne had Kai's exalted from the beginning, is the place of our sanctuary. Year 1712, the Aleph was. Missing from the throne because the limbs which are the angels and the throne in Briah are apart from the body since he the Holy One blessed be he is inside in Atzilah and they are outside as the verse says behold the mighty one shall cry outside Yeshua 337 literally outside meaning outside of the Holy One blessed be he 34 may it please you to return us to the temple to fulfill the prayer composed by the ancient ones may it please you Hashem our Elohim and the Elohim of our fathers to bring us up in joy to our land and to plant us within its borders there we offer to you our obligatory sacrifices the daily burnt offerings according to their order each one to its order the one in the morning and the other in the afternoon and the music offerings according to their rule now in the exile there are no sacrifices such as bodies of Briah which are the throne and Yetzirah which are the angels as mentioned to which sacrifices and union do not pertain as for the Holy One. Blessed be he and his Shechinah from his aspect of Atzilat there is no separation or division as the Shechinah is his unity his blessing and his holiness she is called body only when the Shechinah clothes herself and manifests herself in the throne and in the angels of Briah she is to them like a soul clothed in a lowly humble body and therefore when the Shechinah is outside of the chamber of the temple and outside of her thrones meaning outside of Atzilat meaning when she is clothed in a throne and in the angels of Briah and Yetzirah she is so to speak as if she is not one with him 35 from the aspect of the supernal throne of Briah the secret of Tiferet of Briah which is a body and raiment to the Holy One blessed be he Tiferet of Atzilat the angels of Yetzirah that come down from it are the limbs that protrude from the body Tiferet of Briah which are masculine and the souls that are formed from it Tiferet of Briah are masculine the other throne Malchut of Briah is the body of the Shechinah Malchut of Atzilat. All the souls that come from her are females, and the angels of Yetzirah that come from the second throne are females. Their union, that is the joining of these males and females, depends upon the Holy One, blessed be he and his Shechinah. That is when the Holy One, blessed be he, is united with his Shechinah. They are united as well. 36. Thus is the union between the Holy One, blessed be he and his Shechinah, though they are as souls in relation to the throne and the angels. They are to you the cause of causes, the endless light as a body and raiment, for it is you who unites them and attracts them, and hence we accept our faith in you when you are clothed with them. And there is no soul above you to which you will be as a body, for you are the soul of souls. There is no soul above you, nor any Elohim above you. You are outside everything and inside everything on every side above all and below all. There is no other Elohim above below in any direction. Or inside the tenth spirot from which everything comes and upon which everything depends, you are in every sphere through its length and width above and below, you are between the spirot and in the thickness of each and every sphere. 37 It is you who joins and unites the Holy One, blessed be he and his Shechinah, Tiferet, and Malchut in each and every sphere within them in all the branches of lights that hang from them like bones and sinew skin and flesh, the secret of Chakma and Bani Tiferet. And Malchut that come from the body Tiferet, but you have no body, no limbs which are spirot, you have no female but are one without a second. May it please you to draw the Shechinah near the Holy One, blessed be he and all the grades that are her Atzilat, the souls of the virtuous, namely men who conceive the grades of the tenth spirot, the rulers of Israel, Keter, the sages, Chakma, the intelligent, Bani, the pious, Jesus, the mighty, Bureau, men of truth, Tiferet, prophets, Netzach, and Hadrishis, Yezid. Kings Malchut, they all pertain to the tenth spirot of Atzilat, and there are others of the tenth spirot of Briah. 38 For the Sheshanah is an offering the secret of the anointing oil on the right. There is oil for the light, as in the greater luminary Beersheet 116. She said the holy anointing oil is on the left side, Bureau, of which it says that you shall consecrate the levites. The beaten oil is from the side of the righteous, yes, at the central column that beats finally the limbs which are olives too. Produce oil to the wick, the wick is blue and signifies the Lord Bureau, namely Malchut. Once fear comes the levites, the aspect of Bureau, guard the temple. 39 This is the origin of the commandment of fearing the temple. It is the commandment concerning the service of the levites in the temple in the 24 watches of the lev
Chakma also Hashemai heard the report of you and I was afraid. Chabakah 32 pertains to hearing, namely by Ezekiel saw and prophesied from the eyes and Habakkuk from ears by hearing. Ezekiel therefore saw all the sights of the divine chariot in the vision of his mind's eye. Habakkuk by hearing as he said, Hashemai heard the report of you and I was afraid. There is a prophecy coming from the mouth which is in Malchut as is written and he laid it upon my mouth. Yeshua 67 another. Prophecy comes from the breath of the nose Typhoret as it says and a spirit also breath entered into me. Yeshua 22 there is he who prophecies from the hand viewer as is written and used similes by the hands of the prophets. Hashia 1211 all these grades pertain to the world of Bria. There are some inside the king's life namely in the world of Atzala and others in the innermost namely by Atzala 43 it is so with the Torah that there are several grades plain meanings of secret. Of Asiyah evidence is the secret of Yetzirah Hamaletics, the secret of Briah, secrets of the mysteries of the Torah, the secret of Atzalah above Atzalah are the mysteries of mysteries of Hashem. It is the same with sacrifices, though all the sacrifices are to Hashem. He receives them and distributes the sacrifices among his legions. Some he gives to the dogs, the unfit offerings which he gives to Samael called the dog, and to his legions a fire then descended upon the altar in the shape of a dog. Some he gives to the demons, some of which are like beasts, while others are like the ministering angels, and some yet are like men for those who act like demons. He deals their offerings to the demons. 44 Those whose deeds are like those of the angels, he distributes their sacrifices among the angels. Hence it says, My offering the provision of my sacrifices made by also to my fires, be midbar 282, namely to the angels called fires, as their offerings are not of animals, since animal offerings are. Made by the illiterate human offerings are prayers and good deeds the offerings of students of the law men of virtue those who know secrets of the Torah and the mysteries hidden there in the Holy One blessed be he himself descends to receive their sacrifices which are the Torah of Hashem is perfect Tehillim 198 the Holy Shechina which has tense fire 45 the words of the students of the teachers are like the remnants of the meal offerings others of greater strength their Torah study is like the meal offerings proper not their remnants there are others whose Torah is eating the holy things and several vittles that are before the king all the meal offerings and the dishes of offerings the Holy One blessed be he commanded to offer in his house the Shechina this is the precept of bringing offering in the temple the Shechina so that the verse will be fulfilled but let him at glory's glory in this year may 923 namely in the Shechina called this 46 this is like a king who servants, ministers, and governors sent him gifts. He said, He who wishes to send me a gift shall do so solely through the queen, so that the verse shall be fulfilled by her, and his kingdom rules over all. Tehillim 10,319. The Shechinah is therefore called an offering to Hashem, a burnt offering to Hashem, a guilt offering to Hashem, and even offerings for an unclean thing for mothers, lepers, and men and women who have an issue. Everything should be sacrificed to Hashem and his Shechinah. Shechinah then distributes to everybody as is written and gives food to her household and a portion to her maidens. Michelet 3,115. She even gives the food for the animals, such as an offering of barley, which is food for animals, and the food of slaves and maids of the king's house, and even of dogs, mules, and camels, which are clipped. She gives everything so that it shall be fulfilled by her, and his kingdom rules over all. Whence do we know that through her everything is distributed as it is written? And gives food to her household and a portion to her maidens. 47 Since the Holy One blessed be Zeir Anpin is the son of Yod Hashakma and Bana, namely Bob the son of Yod Zeir Anpin, then comprises Yod Havab and is perfected by Hay Malchut. Since then the name Yod Havab is completed. Malchut therefore is a burnt offering to Yod Havab, an offering to Yod Havab, peace offerings to Yod Havab, for she is brought near Hebkar him, namely an offering to Korban his perfection Hebshalim, namely peace offerings Hebshalim. Since through her Yod Havab is completed into Yod Havab, 48 everything comes back to Yod Havab, and therefore he that sacrifices to any Elohim save Hashem only he shall be utterly destroyed. Shema 2219 for he is not to give strength to the other side through a sacrifice as all the other Elohim are of the world of separation and have no closeness and unison and the Holy One blessed be he separated them from his name. That is, he separated darkness from light as is written, and Elohim divided the light from the darkness. Bear she 14, he who brings close that which the Holy One blessed be, he separated is like he who joins a woman impure with her menstrual flow to her husband. This is the secret meaning of also you shall not approach a woman in the impurity of her menstrual flow. Vayikra 1819 This is the reason for not uncovering their nakedness, which means nearness as every kind of incest is equal to. Worshipping idols of all the other side of which it says by these were the isles of the nations divided in their lands. Bear sheet 105 and after their tongues in their lands and their nations. Ibid 20 it is also written because Hashem did their confound the language of all the earth and from thence did Hashem scatter them. Bear sheet 119 The Holy One blessed be, he separates whoever brings an offering to other sides from his name and he has no portion in his name since the Holy One blessed be. He. Chose Israel from the other nations as written, and Hashem has chosen you, Devarim 142, and took them from among them as his portion. Hence it says, For Hashem's portion is his people, Devarim 32950. He therefore gave them the Torah from his own name as is written, This is my name, Hashemai, forever, and this is my memorial, Hashem's decree to all generations. Shema 315. We have explained this Yahweh together with Shema is 365 in numerical value corresponding to the 365 negative precepts of it. Torah Bavhe together with Zikri is 248 in numerical value corresponding to the 248 positive precepts with each and every precept he bound Yisrael to his name so that each of their members would be a part of his lot and portion therefore he that sacrifices to any Elohim he shall be utterly destroyed. 51 Yisrael should make themselves partners with Hashem in their walking and in their waking as is written when you walk it shall lead you when you lie down it shall keep you and when you awake it shall talk with you. Mishlei 622 the student rose prostrate before him and said happy is the portion of he who is worthy of hearing these words which are all the name of Hashem on every side of which nothing comes outside any of his sides and of Rai Mahin the section 8 and if you shall say what shall we eat in the seventh year Rabbi Yehuda says that one must do good in order to arouse good deeds above and that if he is perfect with his master he can. Come to no harm through the actions of others in the world. He talks about the importance of faith and says that Malchut performs according to the wishes and needs of the faithful. If they give charity without sparing themselves, more blessings will come to them. Thus, in the sixth year, enough abundance will come that there will be no lack during the seventh year when work ceases. 52. And if you shall say, What shall we eat? Vayikra 2520. Rabbi Yehuda opened the discussion with trust in Hashem. And do good dwell in the land and enjoy security. Live faith. Tehillim 373. Man should always be careful with his master and cleave with his heart to the supernal faith so as to be perfect with his master. For when he is perfect with his master, the inhabitants of the world can do him no harm. 53. Come and behold, trust in Hashem and do good what is and do good. We have learned that by stirring below a supernal deed is stirred above, it has already been established that and do them means you. Shall so to speak to them since by your deed of stirring below there is stirring above therefore it is written and do good since good is nothing but the righteous yezid of Zeir and as is written say of the righteous that it shall be well lit good Yeshayah 310 when you do this assuredly this goodness will stir above and dwell in the land and enjoy faith and everything is one as land and faith are both Malchut 54 he explains his words dwell in the land refers to the supernal land Malchut since there is none in the world that can dwell with her until that good yezid of Zeir and is stirred towards her as Malchut without yezid is filled with severe judgments once man stirs it by his good deeds it is as if he formed it then dwell in the land dwell inside Malchut eat of her fruit and have pleasure with her and enjoy faith this is the land namely Malchut as faith and land are all one Malchut as it is written and your faithfulness every night Tehillim 923 night. Being Malchut and enjoy also guide faith means lead her wherever you wish. 55 If one does not stir Yezid towards her this goodness Yezid stays away from her do not approach her then do not come near the furnace of burning fire since without Yezid she
Why is it written as had without the hay? And he answers in order to cause the hay which is Malchut to withdraw from action as a sabbatical year and rest are its habit and it does no work as is written. See that Hashem has given you on the sixth day which is Yezid the bread of two days. Shemot 1629 in a similar manner then I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year which is Yezid and it shall bring forth fruit for three years. Section 9 Charity Saves. From death we read a story wherein Rabbi Shia and Rabbi Yossi encounter two men one of whom gives all of his food to a poor man on the road. The charitable man is saved by a miracle from a snake and Rabbi Yossi says that he earned the miracle by way of his merit in going hungry. Rabbi Yossi quotes the verse trust in Hashem and do good dwell in the land and enjoy security which is the whole message of this section 58. Rabbi Shia and Rabbi Yossi were walking along the way and chanced upon a mountain. They found two men walking and at the same time a man coming who said to them please I pray you give me a piece of bread for I have been lost in the desert for two days and have had nothing to eat. One of the men went aside took out the provision he brought with him for the way and gave it to him. He fed him and gave him drink. His companion said to him what shall you do when you need food for as for me I will eat my own and shall give you nothing. He said to him I do not rely upon your Food the poor man sat by him until he had eaten all he had and he gave the remaining bread to the poor man for the road and he went away. 59 Rabbi Shia said the Holy One blessed be he did not wish it to be done by us. Rabbi Yossi said perhaps there is an impending sentence upon that man and the Holy One blessed be he wanted to put this in his way in order to save him while they were walking the man became exhausted due to hunger. His companion said to him did I not tell you not to give your bread to another Rabbi Shia said to Rabbi Yossi we have food with us let us give him some to eat. Rabbi Yossi said do you wish to take away his merit let us go and see for surely death follows in his footsteps meaning that the danger of death is following him and the Holy One blessed be he wishes to prepare a merit for him in order to save him. 60 meanwhile the man sat to sleep under a tree his friend went further and sat in a different place. Rabbi Yossi said to Rabbi Shia let us sit down. And watch for surely the Holy One blessed be he intends to perform a miracle by him. They stood up and waited while they were waiting. They saw a fiery rattlesnake standing by him. Rabbi Shia said, Woe unto that man for he is about to die. Rabbi Yossi said, This man is worthy of a miracle of the Holy One blessed be he is snake. Then came down the tree with the intention of killing him. The rattlesnake attacked the snake and killed it. Then the rattlesnake turned his head and went on his way. 61 Rabbi Yossi said, Have I not told you that the Holy One blessed be he wished to perform a miracle for him and you must not take away his merit that he should not give him food? In the meanwhile, the man awoke from his sleep and rose to go. Rabbi Shia and Rabbi Yossi joined him and gave him food after he ate. They told him of the miracle the Holy One blessed be he performed for him. 62 Rabbi Yossi opened the discussion and said, Trust in Hashem and do good dwell in the land and enjoy security also. Faith Tehillim 373 Happy is the portion of he who does good using what is his since he stirs good which is yes toward the congregation of Israel which is malchut with what does he stir with righteousness charity since when righteousness is stirred that good stirs toward the congregation of Israel it is therefore written but righteousness delivers from death Mishlei 102 what is the reason for this because righteousness is the tree of life Zeir and it is aroused against the tree of death to take those who are attached to it and it saves them from death who causes the tree of life to be stirred to do that one says the charity that man does it is as if he does it above in causing malchut to be united with the tree of life as is written and do righteousness at all times Tehillim 1063 we have already explained the section 10 they shall be your bondsmen forever we are told that it is a commandment to have a Canaanite slave as a bondsman because they Come from the side of Ham who uncovered nakedness yet Elizur the servant of Abraham was righteous even though he was a descendant of Ham because God approved of the blessing that Laban gave him or Ai Mahan the faithful shepherd 63 and you shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you they shall be your bondsmen forever. Vayikra 2546 it is a commandment to have a Canaanite slave as bondsman as is written they shall be your bondsmen forever they come from the side of Ham who uncovered nakedness of whom it says curse became a servant of servants shall he be to his brethren. Bereshit 925 why a servant of servants because he is a servant to the servant forever let the world which is the world of Jubilee that is when he is a servant to a servant Israel's ear is bored but he will be set free at the world of Jubilee but he will not be set free even at the Jubilee it may be said that as he is a brother to Shem and Japheth why should he not be like them also seeing that Eliezer Abraham's servant was a descendant of Ham why was he not like Ham but instead turned out to be righteous the Holy One blessed be he approved of the blessing Laban gave him as it says of him in the Torah you blessed of Hashem Bereshit 2431 since it is written in the Torah the Holy One blessed be he testifies it is true section 11 reincarnation we are told about the secret of reincarnation that light can come out of darkness darkness comes out of light when drops of semen are mixed in the daughter of a strange hell a man's good should not be mingled with evil we read how a man can attain a neshama through his repentance and study of Torah even if he was reincarnated in a body that consists of good and evil in order to receive punishment average people have half their merits below and half their transgressions below completely evil people have all their transgressions above and their merits below completely righteous people have all their merits above and their transgressions below 64 and he replies surely this pertains to the secret of reincarnation causes the light to vanish before the darkness namely Abraham's servant who came out of darkness the issue of Hamid suffices for the servant to be like his master Abraham who came from the idolatrous terror the idol worshipper he therefore came out of the cursed and darkness and became blessed of Hashem like Abraham who came out from terror also light from darkness and darkness before the light this is Ishmael who came out from Abraham and he saw from Isaac 65 the mystery of this is that this is caused by the mixture of drops of semen in a place it does not belong this is he who mingles his drop with a maid Makalot the daughter of Ishmael who is an evil clipper or a daughter of a strange L namely the daughter of the heathen who are evil and darkness while his drop is goodness and light in the secret of the verse and Elohim saw the light that it was Good Bereshit 14 he who mingles good with evil transgresses the words of his master who said but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat of it Bereshit 217 66 the Holy One blessed be he with that which the man mingled puts him together and reincarnates him so as to receive punishment that is he brings him inside a body which consists of good and evil if he repents studies the Torah and separates good from evil for by studying prohibitions and license defilement and purity what is fit and unfit that evil is separated from good as it says of him and Hashem Elohim formed Hebe Yitzer man Bereshit 27 Be Yitzer is spelled with two Yudis to show that man is twice created a creation for good and a creation for evil and through the Torah he separates them and the Holy One blessed be he bequeaths him a soul from him so he will rule them both the one which is goodness and light the world to come and the other which is evil and darkness this world hence it is written and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life a bit 67 man is judged according to his merits and evil actions as we explained he who does one good deed is treated well he who is average is a person whose merits and transgressions are balanced the half of merits is below and the half of transgressions below this is the secret of what is your petition and it shall be granted you and what is your request even to half the kingdom it shall be performed Esther 56 that is if there be a half kingdom the half of merits then it shall be performed the petition and request is accepted in the case of a completely righteous man all his merits are above and his transgressions below for a completely evil man his transgressions are above and his merits are down below 68 the sin of a man who commits it in public pertains to two grades namely two manners if he does penance in public that is according to the sin that was committed in public he is seated in that world among the righteous who are familiar with the laws of the Holy One blessed be he and refrain from sinning if he repents secretly he is not seated among the righteous because his sin is not totally annulled rather he is seated among the wicked men who envy him his repentance so that the verse will be fulfilled which says but the eyes of the wicked shall fail Yoke 11 20 section 12 change of name change of place change of deed we learn how Abraham ended the sins of Adam and Terah and how he made God and the Shechina to rule over the whole world the section tells of how Adam was reincarnated and how his transgressions
brought him his mother and all the rulers of that age to the Garden of Eden. He was thus purified like silver by fire, like the king's silver coin that was forged with a mixture of lead. He was therefore put in fire, and the lead came out, which is Ishmael. Ishmael therefore was mocking and worshipped idols while Adam remained purified by fire. This is the change of name, for his name was changed from Adam to Abraham. For when Adam was incarnated, he had to undergo a change of name, change of place, and change of deed as follows 71 and came Isaac and he became stronger through him that is Adam was incarnated in him and overcame the second transgression of which it says a man which refers to bloodshed this is an explanation of the verse and Hashem Elohim commanded the man saying Gershi 216 commanded refers to idolatry the man to bloodshed and saying to incest he transgressed them all this brought the trial of Isaac by knife namely the sacrifice of Isaac of which it says and took the knife to slay his son Gershi 2210 Adam was cleansed by him as food is picked from refuse and the refuse came out which is Esau who sheds blood and the food Jacob came out cleansed from refuse this is what is written Jacob had the grace of Adam because in Jacob he came out cleansed and purified from all refuse 72 then came Jacob the aspect of goodness and the food picked from the first man who formed and attached it to Laban and became his servant hence it says I will Serve you seven years for Rachel Bershi 2918 since he exchanged her with her sister he served an additional seven years in order to remove the two drops Adam spilled in a foreign place, meaning the two female spirits that mated with him after he separated from Eve this is incest alluded to in the word saying Bershi 216 he took them out of Laban the Aramean who is of the aspect of the serpent 73 through these three Abraham Isaac and Jacob Adam obtained a change of name a change of place and a change of action he obtained a change of name through Abraham a change of place through Isaac and a change of action through Jacob and if it was said of him then he saw it and declared it he established it yet and searched it out and to manlet Adam he said Eov 2827 to 28 that if he accepted his repentance all the more so that of others who are not as great 74 therefore for a good servant the place brings it about and for an evil servant also the place brings it about but as for other servants they shall be your bondsmen forever. Vayikra 2546 the deans of the Yeshiva rose and said happy is that people that is in such a case have Shekakah. Tehillim 14415 the numerical value of Shekakah is as that of Moses namely the faithful shepherd. The faithful shepherd rose and said happy is that people whose Elohim is Hashem Ibn end of Rai Mahim the section 13 for to me the children of Israel are servants Israel are called God's servants because it is a commandment to serve with prayer and with deeds and by observing the precepts of the Torah Israel are also called God's children when they know God in a particular way and when they have permission to look into his mystery 75 for to me the children of Israel are servants Vayikra 2555 it is commanded to serve by doing many things in the temple and out of the temple by all the deeds that are called service namely prayer and to strive to observe the precepts of the Torah as everything is called service like a servant laboring to fulfill his master's need. 76 he therefore called Israel servants as is written for to me the children of Israel are servants they are my servants why are they servants because it is written whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt but it therefore says later among the ten commandments I am Hashem your Elohim who have brought you out of the land of Egypt Shema 202 to serve him as a servant does his master who saved him from death and redeemed him from all the evil things in the world 77 Israel have two names before the Holy One blessed be he they are called servants as is written they are my servants and they are called children as is written you are the children of Hashem your Elohim Devarim 141 for as long as man knows the Holy One blessed be he in a general way he is called a servant who does as his master bids him but has no permission to look into the treasures and the mysteries of his house when he knows the Holy One blessed be he in a particular way he is called his beloved child like the child who is looking at the hidden at all the mysteries of his house 78 though he is called the son the firstborn son of the Holy One blessed be he as is written Israel is my son my firstborn Shema 422 he must not exclude himself from being a servant who serves his father in everything that glorifies his father so should any man be in relation to his father. A child who looks at his secrets and knows the mysteries of his house and strives after them should be a servant to his father section 14 the secret of the servant and the secret of the son we learn that one should be in the grave of the servant in order to perform the many kinds of works required one would then be called like Malchud master of the whole earth the grave of the son is where one strives to know his father's secrets and all the mysteries of his house. And he then has power over everything no one can ever stop him from entering his father's presence at any time in order to be both a servant and a son one must undertake the service of prayer. Such a one restores the entire secret of the faith. 79 This is the secret of this matter. There are two grades above in which man should be adorned. They are the secret of faith and they are one. The first is the secret of the servant and the other is the secret of the son. The grade of the servant above is called the master of the whole earth which is the secret of Malchut and the grade of the son above is as we stated Israel is my son my firstborn Shema 422 which is the secret of Zeir and everything pertains to the one secret of faith and it behooves man to be adorned with these grades of the son and servant above to be included within the secret of faith. 80 he explains his words one should be in the grade of the servant in order to perform the many kinds of works in the prairie. Called service like the servant who is the supernal secret, namely the secret of Malchut, that is never silent but constantly praises and sings to Zeir and we have learned that it also applies to other services for all the services and words performed throughout the world. It is Malchut that performs and serves them. Malchut is therefore called a master since she is like a servant that works and draws vitality and plenty to all the world. She is therefore called master of the whole earth. In the case of man who is adorned with the secret the aspect of the servant within Malchut and becomes a servant that does his master's work, he ascends and becomes adorned to be in this grade of servant and is also called master since he blesses this world Malchut through his actions and preserves it. He is therefore called master 281. He now interprets the grade of the son, saying, Happy is the portion of the son who deserves to strive to know his father's secrets and all the Mysteries of his house like an only child whose father gave him authority over all his secrets it is to the glory of the son to have power over everything he who strives in the Torah to know the Holy One blessed be he and his mysteries is the son of the Holy One blessed be he and in all the heavenly hosts there is none that will stop him from entering his father's presence at any time he needs to happy is his portion throughout the worlds therefore he who strives to know his father in a particular way within the secret of Chakma meaning the Chakma at the right of Zeir and is called the son 82 among the deeds it behooves man to do for the Holy One blessed be he there is a service man needs to do in order to be included in them both and become a servant and a son adorned by the Holy One blessed be he what is it it is a service of prayer in which it behooves man to be a servant and a son and to be included within these two supernal grades Zer and Malchut behooves man to work and restore prayer by the secret of the servant and to work at restoring the worlds which pertains to the grade of the servant and the secret of Malchut so as to cause his desire to cleave to the secret of Chakma on the right and to properly cleave to his master by the supernal mysteries which is the grade of the son the secret of Zeir and 83 he explains further a son is always bound to his father without any separation at all and no one stops him a servant does his master's work and corrects the constructions of the world whoever has both the son and the servant united together joined as one such is a man who restores the entire secret of the faith which is Malchut to be holy with Zeir and without any division and joins them all together this is a man of whom the holy one blessed be he proclaims throughout the hosts and legions of all the worlds and throughout the firmaments take care of this man who is trusted of the king who has all his Master's mysteries in his hands happy is he in this world and happy is he in the world to come 84 from that day onward that man is known and recorded in all those worlds in his time of need all the hosts and legions are ordered to be with him and the holy one blessed be he needs nothing but him alone that is all the worlds are supported by him oysters and proclaims it is well for an only one that man to be with an only one the holy one blessed be he and for the one to be occupied with the 185 the secret of these two grades the son and the servant I have found in one person which it is written and said to me you are my servant Israel in whom I will be glorified Yeshua 493 and said to me you are my servant is the grade of the servant the secret of the left column and the